it, I'm ready with me. Today, I tried out this new shampoo I got, like, for my damaged, like, bleached hair. You guys told me to get layers and, like, curtain bangs, but I'm definitely not getting curtain bangs. Like, but I definitely want to get layers. I just need to book an appointment. I also really need to get my nails redone because I, I just feel so bare without them. On the first weekend of February, I'll get my nails done so I can have, like, heart nails for the rest of February. Because, like, I want, like, pink Valentine's Day nails or, like, red nails. Actually, I want, like, pink heart ones or, like, the cat, ooh, or, like, the viral, like, cat eye heart, like, the ones with glitter. But I'm not sure yet, so I have a lot of time to figure it out, but... I really do want to get my nails done again. I also have some PR packages on my way. I also really need to start like a link tree so you guys can like find all the stuff that I'm using or like the stuff that I do hauls of. Anyways, yesterday I popped a pimple. I'm like really bored and I'm so hungry right now. So right after this, I'm going to go make myself some food because I'm so hungry. Okay, that's it. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Do my skincare with me. I lost another nail today, so we've lost two. That's okay because it's nearly Valentine's Day, so I'm going to be looking for some Valentine's Day nails, and I'm going to make a TikTok of, like, help me choose my nail. What is that noise going on? I've made one of the TikToks before where I, like, got you to choose from a bunch of designs. I'm going to do that, but Valentine's Day edition. Anyway, I'm so excited because my Scotland trip is becoming so real. Like, it's actually all happening now. My parents went to, like, the flight centre and have started to get it all organised. And we're going to... So we're visiting all our family in Scotland. And Ali's doing some football there. And then we're also going to be visiting Ireland, England. And I think we're going to Paris. This is, like... It's just so exciting because I get to meet all my family over in Scotland that I haven't already met and I just get to go places like I'm so excited and I can't wait to film like all the content of like a day in my life like just vlogs to show all of you guys of like the whole thing and if because I have hold on so I was looking at like my following insights and like demographics of like where everyone's from 38% of my following is from Australia where I am and then 32% is the UK. So I think it'll be crazy if I get to meet some of you over in England and all over there. That would actually be like a crazy moment to be like, whoa, like this is actually happening, you know? So we're going in April. I will be missing two weeks of school, which I'm happy about. But then we're also going two weeks of the school holidays. So we're going to be there for about a month. And I'm so excited. One thing that I'm like really excited about the whole thing too is making the like packing vlog. Like, packing my suitcase with me, like, I'm so excited for that. And then the sad part is my oldest sister, Isabel, can't come because she's got uni prac and she can't leave. Like, she has to do that. So it's just my parents, my brother, me and my other sister. I think my favourite part about this trip, though, is because my dad grew up in Scotland and he's going to be taking us to where he grew up, where my grandparents, like, grew him up and, like, all the... All all the important things about Scotland that I've never got to see. Like, I am so excited. I've had a few people in my comments be like, Scotland's so boring, like, why are you coming here? But my family grew up there and I can't wait to like see where they grew up. Like, it's so special to actually get that opportunity to go and fly there with my family, get to see the history of the McQueen family. It's like, I'm so excited. Anyway, my skincare is all done, so have an amazing night. Guys, I've come to the conclusion that uni is a big fat freaking scam. In other words, they are saying, guys, come here, get in debt to be the best slave ever. Now you're all probably thinking, oh no, we're not slaves because we get money. What do you spend the money on? Food, water, shelter, everything a slave has. Just making not much sense to me right now, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. It's just the fact that everyone goes and does it and they're literally telling you what they're doing. Guys, get in debt. <laughs> actually stressed me out but we're all gonna go there anyway because that's what we get told to do it just doesn't make sense it sounds like the dumbest thing ever someone said to me come here get in debt have to pay this off for the next 25 years of your life like that doesn't sound good to me but we're all doing it anyway because that's just what we're getting told to do please get on ready with me for bed i've got my retainer today for my fresh set of teeth jokes guys i was born with these
I've literally had braces on for like four years of my whole entire life. I was only supposed to have them on for less than two years, but then COVID happened, didn't it? Guys, I'm going to show you Nabe's top best rated top pick products, whatever you want to call it. Starting heavy and strong, number one is the Bubble Float On Soothing Face Oil. This is a freaking dream. This is my favourite skin product I've ever had in my whole entire life. In love with it. Next is 100% Glow Recipe. Anyways, I'm getting a bit bored of that. I'm just going to get ready and go to bed because I'm kind of tired. Also, tomorrow I've got to get up extra early to wash my hair because it's all matted and gross and it just needs to be stripped. Anyways, I got sent this refreshing face oil mist by Frilliance and I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to use it. Guys, I'm absolutely freaking excited for Sephora at Shopper Centre to open because you know, you will find me in there. You want to find me? Go to Sephora. I shall be in there. But then again, is that a bad thing? Because, ooh. Oh my God, this smells fire. Because then, on my face. There we go. Because then I'll be broke. I'll have no money, zero, nada. I'm also kind of getting used to myself about lashes, and I'm kind of liking. It. Oh my god, guys! I'm getting the Glow Recipe Cloud Berry. Um, what's it called? Toner, and I'm so freaking excited to try it. I'm not even joking. I'm over the moon. Right, of course, I'm gonna use my Puffy Eye Attack from Soap and Glory. Guys, I just used my Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth. Da -da 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 -da. These are my favourite things and I forgot and I just love it. I feel like I'm just chatting the most doo-doo and waffling pure. Shabong. Not used my soap and glory whipped nut. Ew, why does it look like that? Ew. Can you tell I've not used it in ages? What is there going on there? Let me wipe that. Okay, let's see if it... Yes! Perfect flower! It must have just been like all the access or my sister's used it. I vote Mila used it because she uses all my stuff. Oh, I just cut out but i forgot how good all of my old skin care was and i'm missing it okay, lastly i'm gonna put my face oil on because i have an obsession with this like i've nearly run out already and then of course lastly we cannot forget okay i'm all done now all right they do say the uglier you go to bed, the prettier you wake up. So let's get ready to wake up better than ever. So much gel in my hair though. Uh, you know it's been a while when it just stays. Um... The crazy thing is, is it's still not hair wash day. Another slick back tomorrow. Like, I'm not going to wash it tonight just to put more gel in it tomorrow. Also, my vanity is a wreck right now. All these are on my Amazon. And this just melts off your makeup. You guys are the one that put me onto this. Just watch my makeup disappear. Look at my lips. My eye is also like so irritated. Hope it's not pink eye. I like dry eye every once in a while. And then my eyes... Like, <laughs> holy shit. Okay, hold, I can't even see. Be right back, I can't, I can't see one thing. I cannot even see my phone. <laughs> ah, my vision is starting to come back. My eye is red, dude. You know, when it's just like one of those days. Serious question, do any of you guys use a shower cap? People think I'm nuts for showering with a shower cap. I don't think I can go a day without it. As soon as my hair touches water, it's back to curly. Think I'm kidding. This is how I go in the shower when I'm not washing my hair. <laughs> Like, literally work smarter, not harder. I don't even think this is a shower cap. I think this is like a food container cover. Eye drops in this eye. Always mess it up. Blowing up overnight means using this Paula's Choice exfoliating thing. I don't even know. It's literally changed my skin. For the better, a yeah, 10 out of 10. I can't live without it. Like, gua sha every single night. So in the morning, my face is like slimmer and deep puffed. We know how I feel about this. I finally ran out of my giant one. It took me a year. Less than $10 on my Amazon. Maybe even if it's... 15 a little bit goes that's a lot goal is to look like an ugly glazed donut when my head hits the pillow liquid pimple patch my acne spots breakouts are emerging of course we need not wake up with chap lips are you kidding me put this all over my face eyelashes my eyebrows on my under eyes because they get so dry in the winter on my nose <laughs> we're ready for bed let's pray i wake up looking brand new love you guys good night 10 years ago, I would have done a night routine on YouTube wearing a full face of makeup while I climbed into bed. Unfortunately though, it is no longer 2014, so let's get ready for bed. If it's not obvious, I have a cold, so that's why my voice is like this. Guys, my hair is getting so long. I start off by washing my face. I'm using the CeraVe 4% Benzoyl Peroxide Face Wash. I recently discovered that I look 10 times hotter when I use eyeliner in my waterline. Unfortunately though, it makes it a bitch for taking my makeup off. I really struggle with hyperpigmentation like all over my body, so my dermatologist prescribed me this 
cream to help me and then i'm just adding my moisturizer and my eye cream i feel like i finally found a lighting setup in my bathroom that i actually love so plan on seeing a lot more get ready with me videos now that i have this sorted my skincare routine is pretty basic i don't really invest in like skincare tech even though i've been seeing it literally everywhere i don't know what it is about the red light masks or the sculpting devices but i feel like they would just give me more insecurities it may seem boring but i know when i take care of myself at the basic level i feel great night guys i'm excited uh? i am excited for valentine's day because i bet all you guys going out to eat doing all these cool things guess what me and jack are doing we are going total ninja to go on the trampolines and be a ninja for the day like anyways guys i know a lot of you guys are in your gcse era and i'm here to tell you it is all okay i sat my gcse's last year and i remember stressing like hell because all that was around me was oh my god oh my god gcse's teachers gcse's da, 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 da. everyone's making it out like it's some big fat deal it's not that deep as everyone's making it out to be like yeah it's it is a bit little like serious whatever but it isn't that deep like i know everyone tells you now like they literally don't matter like don't stress over that like it's literally true like people were telling me that i was not believing them because i'm here getting told this that da, 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 da. but it is true like it isn't that freaking deep like i got my grades yeah went to college i'm doing whatever i'm doing in college like, it's not that deep like it literally doesn't it didn't affect me at all like i'm happy with everything like it wasn't that deep thinking about it now why was i stressing so much putting myself under all that stress it just wasn't worth it so i'm just here to tell you all guys that sitting in gcsu this year it's all okay stop stressing make sure you treat yourself and make yourself feel good mm, you know what i mean don't neglect yourself with gcse's like come on my biggest advice to you while you're doing the exams is get enough sleep get at least give yourself at least eight to nine hours to be able to sleep because i i did that yeah and it was the best times waking up in the morning because i didn't have to force myself to get up i woke up naturally just before my alarm like it was all calm i wasn't tired it's just the best thing to do. Like, that's what i do right now like i'm in college i'm 17 and i go sleep at nine o'clock like i don't know anyone else my age that's in college that goes sleep at nine o'clock let's be real although today i'm a bit um delayed because it is 20 past nine but i'm going back. okay but yeah i'm just here to tell you it's all okay do not neglect yourself Ooh. Anyways, guys, I'm going to straighten my hair next week, I think, because I'm just feeling like having it straight, being a little straight queen for the week. But I'm just going to wait until, like, this storm goes away and it stops being, like, windy and rainy because, like, windy, rainy, curly hair that's not supposed to be straight is not a good mix, like, at all. It smells, it's weird, and it's just not it. Anyways, good night, guys. I love you all. Make sure you follow my Instagram so that you're all, like in the giveaway that i'm doing and my instagram is in my bio also i need to buy some like nair to like sort these eyebrows out like <laughs> right good night i love you guys i don't know what's going on with my hair anyways guys i'm doing my skincare for bed and it's quarter past 11 i didn't think it was that late i honestly don't know why i'm still tired i've been rotting away in my bed all day or on the sofa and i'm still tired i don't know why it's just been one of those days. I've done absolutely nothing. I've just been laying around, playing Fortnite, watching Netflix, just doing nothing. And don't get me wrong, I love when I have days where I do nothing. So I'm usually really busy. So it's nice if I don't do something for once. But it just ends up making me ten times more tired. And now I just feel just really disgusting. Like I slept through until one, one o'clock. How can I not wake up and sleep through till one? And then I got straight in the shower because I just felt disgusting. So I woke up so late. <laughs> I'm also dying and I don't know if this is just me but I hate my hair when it's like freshly washed because it's just it's too fly away and it's just too clean I was gonna do like a full-on Sunday reset tomorrow but then I remember to have school and I've got to figure out all my stuff like my bag everything so I haven't even got it out so I'm gonna do that Sunday night so I just thought I'd wash my hair today but guys I actually cannot go back to school like it's so stressful like, I actually just hate it so much. On Thursday, I had a modelling and video shoot with Pineapple Dance Studios. And I filmed loads and loads of content. And it was a really long day, so my muscles are still aching. Because I've not really done a lot of dance over the Christmas break. I might go and do a dance class at base tomorrow, but I'm not too sure yet. I also redone my lashes this morning, but I don't know if I added enough on this eye. I think it needs one more. And guys, I picked off all my acrylics because of school on Monday. And now my nails have like no layers. It's so bad. I know guys, I should have gone to the nail shop and got them off, but I couldn't be bothered. And I already stressed bit my thumb off. So I thought once I'm like the person, if you get one nail off, I can't have any more nails on. 
it annoys me too much like just having one nail off so i just thought i'll just bite them all off it's like the worst pain biting your nails off though like when you feel like the heartbeat in your nail after you just ripped it off I ended up going to bed at half three last night because I just couldn't sleep. Actually, that's a lie. I was on my phone till half three. I could definitely have slept, but I just chose to go on my phone all night. It's nearly half 11 now. I'm going to aim to be asleep by half 12. That's definitely not going to happen. I'm such a night owl. Like, I'm the worst, worst, worst morning person in the whole wide world. I'd much rather stay up until like four in the morning and then sleep until like one the next day than wake up at seven in the morning because I just can't do it. My body physically cannot do it. Okay, I've just added tanning drops into my moisturiser, so I'm going to take you guys into my bathroom so I can wash my hands so that I don't get all tan stuck in my fingers. Okay, I've washed my hands. I'm going to go to bed now. Bye, guys. Hey, y'all. Get ready with me for bed. I feel like I haven't done like a bedtime routine in literally so long but here i am i'm doing my lashes right now and yeah i do my lashes before bed um i do that because it saves me time getting ready in the morning because i got school tomorrow and i do my lashes a certain way to where they last me like a whole week so you just gotta take care of them a certain way i do have a tutorial on my page if you want to see it it's on like the little you can find it on the little tabs that says latches so go find that if you're interested oh and i do wait what am i saying okay i do want to do a updated lash tutorial because you know it's kind of outdated so let me know if y'all want to see that and i will do that okay i'll be back with my lashes <gasps> i did not press stop okay here we go i'll be back now okay lashes done I'm gonna go on with this. I haven't done, I haven't used it in a long time because I literally thought it was empty until I saw, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but you can see there's like a little line there. I have so much left. I was literally gonna get a new one. I was like, what? There's like a bunch left. So we're gonna go on with the watermelon dewdrops from Glow Recipe. And I freaking love this. It feels so nice. And then I'm going to go in with the, I, sorry, I didn't know if it was recording. I do care. Glow Key Vitamin C Eye Cream. I haven't used an eye cream in a while. Um, and it used to be such like a key thing in my makeup routine and like bedtime routine. And I haven't done it in a while. So we're going to try to get back on track to my skincare. Um, I have been thinking about doing like an ASMR video. Because that just seems so fun. Let me know if y'all want to see like a little ASMR. Um, but I'm so, ugh, I keep getting reminded that I'm going back to school tomorrow. And I'm so not ready. Ugh. It actually makes me so sad. Like it makes my stomach turn. But also I have to go to school in my freaking glasses. Because I ran out of contacts. And I've been wearing my glasses for like two weeks. And I hate going to school in my glasses because I just don't like wearing my glasses. And it messes up my makeup. Look how cute my dog is. Pee-wee! Paris. Hi, baby. Are you sleeping on the bed, you stinker? Now I'm just going to go in with the Pond's moisturizer and moisturize my face. Now I'm just going to blow dry my hair and then go to bed. Night, y'all.
let's get ready for bed. You guys didn't know, I'm probably gonna say this in every single video until I go on vacation, because I'm going on vacation in one month, you guys. And I think I'm gonna order a tripod on Amazon today, because somehow I don't have a tripod. Like, what? Also, I'm bringing out, like, so bad all over my forehead, so... Okay. Anyways, I don't know what's happening there, but hopefully it goes away soon. But today, I had my last two midterms. Well, I have one more. It's a biology one on Monday. I'm so excited, because I have to take that. And then I get to go home at 9.40 a.m., so I can go back to bed. Like... Yes, please. Oh, so little story time. I had my best friend over today, and we were. I was like, "What are the odds that I throw a snowball at you?" Because it's snowing right now. If you didn't know, so I was like, "What are the odds that I throw a snowball at you?" Three, two, one out of ten. Three, two, one. And we both said seven. So I chucked a snowball at her. Obviously, and we were in my front yard, and there's a lamppost, and she tries like catching on the lamppost, and then she fully breaks the lamppost. So now my that's like half of my lamppost is in the ground, and the other half is on the ground, like laid on the ground with wires sticking out of it but if that was me like my mom she didn't get mad at her that much like maybe it's like inside of her like she didn't want to say it for my friend but if that was me i would have been yelled that so hard even in front of my head like i also might get my second piercing tomorrow with my stepmom so that'll be really fun maybe i'll put i'll like film it i'll vlog it for you guys but i don't know because i'll probably be like so nervous i won't be speaking in the horrible but who knows comment if you want a video anyways that's it so bye guys have a great night get ready with me for a night in well, i've been staying in for the month of january like i have just been romanticizing doing my skincare and like feeling good be cooking with Kristen tonight so i wanted to just like feel fresh and clean before and part of the reason i'm doing this 30 hard is i really want to see how it is like gonna affect my skin i've really been trying to work on my skincare routine i've been keeping my routine pretty simple and just like sticking to it i'm happy that i have a roommate that's also doing this with me so we're like staying in and cooking together these ula hendrickson products have been life-changing for me this one has like been through the ringer hence all the stuff on it but it's their strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer it just goes on so nice it's so hydrating you can use it for day or night it's clean vegan gluten and cruelty free i think we might watch a movie tonight or like start a new show so if you guys have any recommendations i feel like i never have time to like actually watch shows but now i want to first i was kind of regretting this 30 hard stuff but now i feel like i'm just like so much more back on track and i'm gonna be ready to go and travel and party after this month this product i've also been loving for my under eyes it's also from ula hendrickson and it's their banana bright eye cream like it just feels like so good brightens the under eyes sometimes i'll even do this under my makeup to get like a good finish before i start i took off the beauty filter so you guys can see but my skin it just feels like a glowy plump have you guys been liking my cooking videos because i want to keep making them and showing you guys new recipes i'm like obsessed with like food tiktok now my skin has like come a long way but i feel like sticking to a routine has really helped me so i just wanted to recommend these products to you guys because i've been loving them all right we are ready to get cooking Bye. Get ready with me talking about the things that I hate. Starting a song with like when, it, when I'm about to go like do the dishes or something and then my mom asked me to do the dishes. Like now I don't want to do it anymore. Oh, another good one is like when people say that they're the biggest fan, what? Biggest fan of an artist when they only know mainstream songs. Like they're like, oh my gosh, I'm Taylor Swift's biggest fan, but they only know like you Belong With Me, Love Story, and Cruel Summer. Or, like, do you know every album? I don't think so. But um, another one that I really don't like is, like, when people try to one-up you. Like, oh, I got a 100 on the test. Oh, cool, I got a 102. Like, not cool. Okay, this one's, like, low-key kind of random, but, like, putting on clothes when you're still, like, wet. Ugh. It literally, like, sends chills down my spine. Okay, this one, like, really, really annoys me. When people only compliment your outfit if you're wearing, like, Lululemon. Like, or, like, if you have your hair straightened or curled. Also, if you're just, like, not wearing makeup and someone goes, Oh my gosh, you look so tired. Like, thanks for telling me. I don't... Oh my gosh, this is probably the biggest one, honestly. 
when people point out your insecurities like they know that it bothers you and they're still like one of my biggest is people tell me that my face is too red like i know and it's even worse when like like boys are making fun of you and then like your friends join in like that's not okay i take it back my friends have never really like joined in but like one person like i just why would you feel the need to say that to me and like i know that a red face isn't something that would like bother most people but it bothers me so please just stop anyway i might do a things i love because this is pretty negative but bye honestly i really thought i'd give this get ready with me thing like or get on ready with me thing a shot because why are you making bank from posting videos like that girl isa she made bank off that one apology video like 100k like can i can i get some money at the same time i feel like i have nothing to offer so people just won't listen to me not me getting caught with a filter and every time i post videos they just flop and it's just like depressing and embarrassing and no and i get the whole thing people saying like oh you can start at 50 likes and you can go to 500 and you get like a thousand and like five hundred thousand. but like does that really happen to most people like i don't ever see that also i got me a 30 inch bust down i'm joking that's a joke I keep saying it over and over again and my dad's like what is 30 inch bust down and i'm like hair that's just 30 inches i know my hair is not 30 inches i'm humble enough to know i'd say it's probably like 26 maybe i'm honestly super grateful to have a mom who can like do my hair because she was a hairstylist for like so long like i've legit been the hair salon like twice in my life and both was just not needed because my mom did it for free Okay, now that all my makeup's off and I'm done yapping, I can go take a shower and actually wash my face so I can get this pimple to go. But, I mean, I gave this a shot, so we'll see how it does. I'm going to be brave and post this, so if you stay to the end, you're a real one. So let me know if y'all want another video.